Hi, this is Mr. Kolu on behalf of the PHS Math Department. I'm here with a little refresher course for you on scale factor, how to calculate it and how to use it. Let's go ahead and start with a definition. Scale factor is defined as the ratio of any two corresponding lengths and two similar geometric figures. Uh, I like to sometimes go through and replace the word so it's a bit easier for me to understand. I can go ahead and swap out ratio with the word fraction. And I can go ahead and swap out the word corresponding with matching. And lengths, I can just think of as parts. So really what I'm talking about here is the fraction of any two matching parts in two similar geometric figures. Well, that begs the question, what are similar geometric figures? Well, we know that similar figures are two figures such that corresponding angles are congruent, the matching angles are congruent, and the corresponding side lengths are proportional. The matching side lengths have proportional values. So let's see how this works. Here's a Ferrari, and here's a replica of that Ferrari. In fact, it's one-twelfth the size. Now, if I take a look at the angles, I recognize that the angles are exactly the same. They're the same shape. If they weren't, it wouldn't be a very good replica. Also, I know that if I'm comparing the lengths, like if I know the width of the Ferrari is 5 feet, and the model has a width of 5 inches, then I can assume that if the length of the real car is 8 feet, that the length of the model would then, in fact, also be 8 inches. How do I know this? Well, it's because of the scale factor. Let's check out how that works. First, I want to go ahead and put in values that are in the same units, just so it's a little clearer to see. Then what I want to do is I want to make a ratio out of the corresponding, the matching side lengths. So I know that 5 inches goes with 60. And I also know that on the other, on the, the, uh, the length, that 96 inches goes along with 8. Notice I have my ratios both in the same form, where it's going from the model to the real to the real actual automobile. And notice they both reduce to the same number, 1 over 12. That's my scale factor. And that's basically just showing you the relationship between the small car and the big car. So literally, the big car is 12 times the size of the small car. Or the small car is 1 12th the big car. Well, how could I go ahead and use this? Let's take a look at an example. Here's Van Gogh's Starry Night, uh, which is originally 92 centimeters wide by 73 centimeters tall. And I want to go ahead and shrink that down so small that it can fit on a credit card, a credit card that's only 5 centimeters tall. So I want to find out just how wide is that shrunken down version of the painting going to be. And again, I can use proportions. I can use 73 centimeters over 5, relating the height of the original painting to the height of the, the smaller reduction I want to make. And I can use the width of the large painting, 92 centimeters, and relate that to the width of the small one. In this case, my unknown. So then I can go ahead, cross multiply. I take 92 and multiply it by 5, and I set that equal to the other cross product, 73 times my unknown. I can go ahead, find out what 92 times 5 is, divide both sides by 73, and I find that my unknown length is 6.301, meaning my reduction will be 6.301 centimeters wide. Let's look at another example. Say I build a really nice doghouse but I want to go ahead and make an enlargement that has a scale factor of 2 to 5. Well, if the width of my original doghouse was 1.5 meters, and I want to find out what the width of the new doghouse is going to be, I can just use that scale factor, 2 over 5, and set it equal to the relationship. The small, 1.5 meters, over the big, my unknown. Cross products, set them equal to one another, then go ahead and divide both sides by 2, and I find that my unknown length is 3.75, making the width of my enlargement 3.75 meters. And you can use this on all dimensions. You could use it on the height, and even on a three-dimensional three shape, you can use it as the depth. Well, I wish you the best of luck with your project, and we'll see you all in the fall.